can you tell us uh, your message to the guys? Yeah, I just told them, you know, our words that Auburn baseball is attack legacy vision from day one and attack with joy. We're just attaching some words to it. Uh, legacy from the point of loyalty, what we represent, and then a, a vision to finish. And it's pretty neat. Those were the things we described in January for them to all be right here in hand here in June is pretty neat. Weather. How important is it just to kind of get a feel for playing surface, stadium, all those things a little bit before you guys get started? Yeah, and North Carolina helped with that. We, we all, we all with our smartphones now, we have uh, access to the weather and what's happening and transpiring. And we're just hunting for windows. We'll probably have to do that in a three-game series. And it even happens the day before the Super Regional starts where everybody's just working together to find windows for these two teams to get a feel. But I do think it was important. We really only got stretching and batting practice in, but at the same time, we got to get to see the backdrop and get on the field. And I respect everybody working together, North Carolina and the Super Regional Committee to make that happen. North Carolina has a lot of access to the Super Regional. What do you tell your team about getting out of here a lot? Yeah, I, I would always, I, we respect every opponent. Hopefully we fear nobody. And man, we're excited to still be playing and hook it up here. Um, you know, I, I've looked at North Carolina for a long period of time being in college baseball. And, man, they've just done such a great job. We're starting to try to build that with our program with back-to-back -back Super Regionals. But uh, the success that Coach Fox has had, the two assistants uh, I've known for a very long time, um, yeah, we'd like to build a program and the image of what they've done um, so far. So all the respect in the world, we're just uh, excited to be here. And, and, and have an opportunity against the story program. Does the weather impact anything in terms of strategy? Is it, do you feel like it's an advantage, disadvantage? Is there any kind of feeling on that? Well, it will if it starts and stops, yeah. and I don't think that's to, to our advantage necessarily. If we start and stop and have to keep, keep getting deeper in our pitching staff, uh, that's a challenge. And that just adds another dimension of challenges if the weather's dictating that instead of how North Carolina's swinging the bats or how the game's going. So. Uh, but again, you talk about what you can control and what you don't control. And we'll, we'll have plan A, and we might have to go to plan B, C, D, E, F, you know, to try to compete through this thing. But both teams will be in the same environment. But uh, there are some challenges that you at least need to have a plan of attack going into it if the weather knocks you off of plan A. You mentioned back-to-back -back Super Regionals. Uh, last year when you played Florida, I think a million people were watching that when the ratings came in. Yeah. You're on ESPN wow. on game two. What is that exposure? Do you, do you, do you get a, a benefit from that? I think it keeps uh, building a program. I can tell on my emails. I can see on the traffic of recruits. And when people say uh, see us play a certain way that's inspired against great teams, uh, like we're going to get to do, it's another opportunity for us to showcase our program. And um, you know, I got friends from the past, former players, people that love Auburn. Um, it's just an amazing time for everybody to rally together. Sometimes, you know, we got a, we got a really nice following with Auburn baseball. Uh, but sometimes it just brings out the bigger, broader national brand of Auburn fans uh, that specifically gets involved in our program this time of year. You knocked off the number three seed, national seed, to get here. Can you ride that wave uh, coming into here? Yeah, baseball is amazing. You know, we, uh, we have a ball club. I know North Carolina won their tournament and did a great job in the regional. So, uh, but I want to think that we're hot too. You know, this is a team that's won 15 games in a row, our club, at some point during this year. And then that was probably our three best games that we've played this entire year, you know, in Atlanta last weekend. So, you know, baseball works that way. It works in rhythms. It works in uh, uh, ebbs and flows. And, uh, you know, I got to be thinking that our guys, I can see it in our batting practice. I can see low line drives. I can see great energy flow. Uh, I can see our guys enjoying to get on the bus and come to the ballpark. So I think we're in a pretty good place as well.